Hey, it's Pat. And it's Billy. Happy, Happy Pride, Pride Month! Month! June is officially LGBT Pride Month. Woohoo! And uh, here in Buffalo, New York, the festivities kicked off last week. Um, mm -hmm. So it's at the beginning of the month. And we got really involved. Wow, well, we really did. Fun. No, it was <laughs> it was really important for us because it's our first year as a married couple, legally married in the state of New York. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So we were like, yes, Pride, we're married now. Yeah, that's cool. And also, you know, we're in a new city. This is where we live now. And I know that in a community that is tight-knit, it's really great just to take the opportunity to get involved and meet people and just take part in all the festivities. And there were a lot going on for Pride Week here, so we just did it all. Mm -hmm. And you know, one of the main factors when we decided to leave New York City and we were looking for um, you know, a new place to move, um, the place we were going to go to had to have a nice gay community that was active, where we felt safe, mm -hmm. where we felt we could get involved. And Buffalo has a really wonderful um, LGBT community and you know, we've only been here a short amount of time but we are really seeing how active everybody is. Well, it is just took and... this one week to really realize <laughs> how great the community is here, yeah. so that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> One of the first things that kicked off Pride Week here was the flag raising ceremony in front of City Hall. The, yeah. the mayor was there, which was awesome, and there were some great speeches. And I just, I don't know, I'd never been to a flag raising in like a real way where you get to see like the rainbow flag, like yeah. in front of City Hall waving. It was really cool. There was a lot of people there. And, you know, I just thought it was a great way to really officially kick it off. Yeah. Uh, one of the earlier events, too, was, uh, you can see on Billy's shirt, the Gay 5K Out Loud. Dude, I ran it. I ran it. My first race. And I was also there. <laughs> you volunteered. He volunteered, which is awesome. I did. And uh, Billy did an awesome job. It was so fun to watch him run by. Yeah. It's kind of fun to run with a bunch of people and feel the motivation of everyone while you're running. And plus, we went by the waterfront, so it was, like, beautiful and the sun setting. So it was a beautiful day, too. I was loving it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you did good. Thanks. Uh -huh. One of my favorite things at Pride this year was actually the Chroma Art Opening because after living in New York City for so many years, I, I love going to art shows and yeah. gallery openings and it was really great to be in a new community and see art from local artists. And also there was a party in the back with a photo booth, which I love, Yeah, a bar. That was, that was fun. <laughs> um, and also there was like a mural going up. Yeah, on the yeah. side of the whole building, um, this graffiti artist was, would it be graffiti? I don't know, spray paint spray artist. Paint. It's, it's a mural. <laughs> uh, was adding this really nice mural on the side that was dedicated to the LGBT community. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of other murals. Yeah, um, throughout Allentown, it's like the, the gay and artist kind of area of Buffalo. There's all murals going up. So it was really nice to have one dedicated to our part of the community. Yeah. And then we had a two-for-one day, which we love two-for-ones. Mm -hmm. And there was a march to start the day off, and then it went right into the Allen Street Festival. Yeah, that was really fun. It was like they blocked off the streets, and there were um, food and drinks, and most importantly, there was dancing. Awesome, um, an awesome DJ. What were their names? ABC DJ? Yeah, yeah. Um, these, uh, a guy and a girl, and I, you know, we just moved here, so we don't know, but apparently they are the jam. They're and real fun. More specifically, <laughs> the Space Jam because they played they the song played from Space, Space Jam. Jam. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, it was amazing. We had a lot of fun. So after dancing the night away on Allen, we basically went and danced some more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we went over to um, Club Marcella because the one and only winner of RuPaul's Drag Race, Bianca Del Rio, was there performing mm -hmm. along with um, a lot of other Buffalo drag queens. Um, but it was really fun. The crowd yeah. was insane. It was huge. People were so excited. It was a line like around the block. Yeah. It was crazy. Bianca Del Rio was the mistress of ceremonies for the Canal Side Pride Festival mm -hmm. um, that happened on Sunday. So she performed the night before and got the crowd super psyched. And oh, yeah. then she was down at Canal Side after the parade mm -hmm. um, doing, uh, you know, her what she does where she's so funny and kind of mean. Uh, <laughs> and just she really got the crowd excited. Yeah, and she seemed pretty excited too. Mm -hmm. I think that she was like shocked to see how big of a community there was here. And we kind of learned too, it's huge. Yeah, it was like a beautiful day. There were so many people out. I don't. It's nice to be like, on the water and just be like hanging out, mm -hmm. eating food, celebrating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really nice. <laughs> Pat, you just forgot like the main part. Uh, <laughs> there are so many activities. Uh, yeah, forgot the parade, which yeah. was really awesome. That's like um, <laughs> the biggest thing I ever parade. <laughs> on Sunday morning, there was a, a beautiful pride parade down Elmwood Avenue. And uh, we actually got to walk in the parade, which was really exciting. There were a lot of people. Yeah, the there whole way. There were lining way. up, like the entire way down, which I, I don't know, I just, I've seen some parades where it's, you know, there's like a few people here and there, yeah. mainly the people in the parade, but there were people all over it watching. It was so cool. Yeah. And it was just really nice, like, we held hands and we yeah. just like walked down the street. I was street like, wait, and... we should hold hands. 
Yeah, and this people is what were, it's about. People were yelling like Happy Pride, and there was like people of all ages, and and there were children, like families, and like yeah, it was really really nice. It was nice really to see nice. people just everyone. It wasn't. It was just the whole Buffalo community out. Yeah, which was great. Everyone was really excited. The energy was great. Yeah, and everyone put on a good show down on Wood Avenue as well. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, so like we said, after the parade, we ended up um, at Canal Side, down by the water. Bianca was there, like thousands and thousands of people were there. People. Um, Dev performed. Oh, yeah. Bass down low. But, 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 still, yeah, that's my <laughs> Dev impression. Um, and she was great, and it was just a really fun, beautiful day. It was, yeah. yeah. And you know what? To hear Bianca's voice <laughs> echoing through the throughout streets. downtown, that was... <laughs> That was something. It was an experience, yeah. <laughs> um, but it was a wonderful way to wrap up uh, Pride Week here in Buffalo. And we just, I mean, I can't tell you how much fun it was to like celebrate with everybody. It was, and it was really great. We saw a lot of people that are viewers of our videos, and it was yeah, really nice was just to bump to into you. people and meet everyone, so. Yeah. Very nice welcome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so after all that celebrating, um, we need a nap or I something. need my feet massaged <laughs> and my toes unbroken. <laughs> uh, so we're going to sign off, but uh, hope you guys were having a nice time celebrating Pride. Or yeah, you enjoy will this, this month. whole month. Mm -hmm. You're gonna, I'm sure all your cities Perfect. will be pumping it up. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Happy Pride.